Michigan will rescue later. Oh, let's go visit some cats. Let's go. Hi, so this is the Inside Michigan will rescue later. There's four cat rooms and a dog kennel row. Uh, that is in two, uh, there's three open uh, cages and one uh, cat in cage three. So let's go in there. So here are the kitties. Some of them, at least. And, ooh, this one here. This is Cisco. She's very, very young. I think a year and a half. But, you want to test her shyness? Nope, she does not want to be. She, if she wanted to be pet, she'd probably come up to me. So there are sometimes cats here to the point where we literally have to write, please check for cats hiding in the cabinet. <gasps> oh, it's Dirk. And Colin? Wow. Dirk and Cullen. Cullen's nine month male, that's the tabby. Dirk, little one year old, black, with the yellow eyeball, orange and yellow eyeballs. This one. This is our resident 15 year old dodo. This is our cat bed wall in the cage free room. So there are 10 cat beds and then there's one on top. Uh, all these different compartments are little spots for cats to be. And uh, right now, a bunch of them have cats in them. So let's just show off the little kitties. There's Dodo again. This is Granny Smith. Uh, she's 10 months old. She's relatively new here, but she was a transfer from another um, animal shelter. She's very sweet. I just met her, so she's like already really um, sweet. She likes moving. They're cleaning the cages currently in all the rooms, but. Uh, get cage, the cages get cleaned multiple times a day, and the cats have out times so they can just kind of wander around outside of the cage. There's a bunch of stuff all over the rooms. They can just jump up. And nice. even the ones in the uh, cage room are still really nice. Alright, so this is Sandal. He'll be adopted soon. Uh, because he's an 11 weeks old kitten. He's very active, but I gotta put him down because he's spicy. Uh, now let's grab him. I don't want him running away from anything. Right. So, get back here. Okay. So, this is the first kitten looking at Marl. There's other groups of kittens. There's Croc, Flip Flop, and Sandal, which is the shoe litter. And down there, there's Bee Litter with Beatrix, Bennett, Binks, Blakely, and, Br and Brintley. These names need some work, but you know, you can always change them. So there are a bunch of rooms like this. There's like four of them that are meet and greet rooms where you can enter them and go in and like, be a protective animal that you're looking for. And this one's uh, for dogs, especially, but dogs and cats. So there are different areas where you've got to play and go around. Um, a bunch of people to sit on. So yeah, it's just like a little room to socialize with different animals. This is the entrance to the dog area. There's a bunch of dog cattle here. So here are the dog kennels. This one, they're currently outside. Um, but Hazel's right there. The yellow ones. So coordinator um, here at the shelter named Michigan Animal Rescue League. Yeah. Uh, what is Marl's mission? Our mission is to find a new way to house animals um, that is mainly focused on their weight. So we are very focused on the quality of the weight. Um, we call ourselves a different breed of shelter because we like to use every inch of our space in creative ways to help maintain happy and healthy lifestyles for all of our animals in our care. Yeah. Um, 
why should people adopt or foster kittens or cats or dogs, especially from Marl rather than other shelters? Yeah, so fostering is an incredible opportunity, both for the person fostering and for us. Um, fostering offers a lot of one-on-one -on -one interaction between animals, especially kittens, um, in their beginning of their life. So it helps to um, really, um, really focus on socialization early in kittens' lives. And for behavioral cases for some older animals, it kind of gives us a lot of insight for what an animal will be like in their home. And that information goes directly into um, creating kind of an idea of what their forever home would be. So it just offers a lot of insight um, to find the animal's perfect placement. When it comes to where to foster, truly anywhere is a good way to foster, or is a good place to foster. Um, we are always encouraging to, if you're, if you're too far from us, go somewhere closer to you. Um, but I think we do offer a really incredible fostering program. Um, we supply everything from blankets to food to um, milk for our bottle babies and things like that. So we really do have a good handle on um, being able to give everyone supplies that they may need during their fostering. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. This is a mom and her two cats. I'm fostering them for Marl currently and uh, they'll be here about two months. They were born in my house and uh, once they're uh, gone, once we have them for two months They'll go back tomorrow, they'll get adopted, and they'll go to a nice family. Yeah, if you have any questions, go to MichiganRescueLeague.com and you can find their email there.